Normally, as president, I would be purely focused on making sure our congregation is taken care of, that we are serving food to the attendees at dusk, and we are taking care of the poor, as is our requirement in Ramadan. I did not expect to be here in front of you talking about this issue. On Thursday, April 6th, at the time of the dawn prayer, an individual came to our masjid. While I will not provide too many factual details, as this matter is still under police investigation, I will note the following. This individual, an individual that we understand is not of our faith, did a number of Islamophobic acts. He threatened to burn down our mosque. He uttered slurs about the Prophet, may peace be upon him and he uttered slurs about terrorism. Most concerningly, he tried to ram our congregants with his vehicle. This attack was captured on video. It was shocking. It could have res resulted in serious injury, or God forbid, even fatalities. Our congregation and Muslims across the country have a reason to be concerned. Whether looking at the Quebec City Mosque massacre or the London attack where an individual ran down the entire family with his truck, our communities have reasons to feel afraid. We want to reassure the community that these incidents are taken very seriously. We responded quickly to identify and arrest the suspect later that day. Our hate crime unit and our intelligence bureau has been engaged in this investigation from the outset, which is ongoing. I'd like to make a, a couple of statements. One, we do not believe this incident or individual is part of a larger group. We do not believe that this individual is associated to an extremist group. We do not believe that this incident is terror related. And I want again to reassure the community that there is no threat to community safety as a result of this incident. What we have already seen from Statistics Canada is an increase in hate crimes targeting Muslims for 2021 uh, by 71 percent. We don't yet know the full extent of this year, now 2023. We are always urging uh, police authorities to make that data available, but I think it's important to understand as well, the majority of people who are targets of hate crimes or hate incidents don't actually come forward to police. Um, and so we really don't actually have the full picture. Uh, it is certainly concerning that we are hearing about more uh, incidents that are being reported just in the past few weeks um, and certainly we hope that this is not going to be an ongoing trend.